All right, uh, let's take a look at example 1.6, an application of uh, Mult Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Um, so we're provided with an expression for the kinetic energy of a molecule. Uh, so kinetic energy of molecules, one half mv squared. And so I have an overbar over the v squared here because this is indicative uh, that that's the expectation value of velocity squared. Um, and so that's important because velocity is a scalar quantity. And that, uh, via the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, is just equal to 3 half kBt, uh, where kB is Boltzmann's constant or molecular gas constant. And so if we were to solve for speed, speed is the square root of uh, the average velocity squared, and so that's equal to square root of 3 kBt. Okay, and so we're asked to calculate uh, the speed of some water molecules. Uh, where we're given values of R, N Avogadro, molecular weight. Um, we're uh, asked to do this calculation at zero degrees C, and then um, we'll solve in meters per second, and then also convert to miles per hour. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this for a second. I'll shrink this and go over to uh, MATLAB. Okay, so here I am over in MATLAB, and hopefully I have enough space, uh, but I tried to keep the problem statement um, open down here with uh, some parameters uh, to, to help me when I'm solving, because I can't quite remember everything. <laughs> uh, but we're going to try and calculate the speed of water, okay? Uh, and so let's go ahead, uh, we'll uh, assign the uh, information provided to us to variables, then we'll use that to calculate the quantities that are needed for the calculation, and then ultimately to calculate the speed. Okay, so we're given um, R, R is our molar gas constant, okay, in joules per mole Kelvin. Um, so R, uh, we'll just leave it as R, is equal to 8.314. And if I want to, I can make a note that that's in joules uh, per mole K. Okay, um, we're given an Avogadro, and Avo, that's equal to 6.022, okay. It's times 10 to the 23. And so remember, MATLAB no scientific notation, so I can just use e to the 23, uh, and that'll be the same as times 10 to the 23. Okay. Um, a lot of students always use still times 10 to the you know power 23, uh, and that's fine. Uh, I personally like scientific no notation a lot better. It's a lot more compact um, and helps minimize mistakes. Okay. Give them molecular weight. The molecular weight is 18 uh, AMUs. Oh, and then last bit is the temperature in degree C uh, is zero. Okay, so this is, uh, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so now I have all the information provided in the problem statement, and next I'm going to have to perform my calculation. Okay, um, so, you know, speeds can have units of, say, meters per second or miles per hour, and so we need to make sure that the units are consistent on the right-hand side um, to get said units of speed. Okay, and so what I'll do is I don't like thinking about unit conversions a lot. <laughs> uh, and so what I'll do is I'll solve um, with all of these quantities in SI units. So I'll make sure uh, KB is in SI units, temperature is in SI units, and mass is in SI units. So that way when I compute the speed, I know that speed will be in SI units uh, meters per second. And that'll work out too because we're given a, um, essentially what the answer should be. Okay, so in terms of getting SI units, uh, so R is in SI units joules per mole Kelvin, uh, but the issue is this equation we're given, uh, we need KB, um, Boltzmann's constant. Okay, And so what it is, is R is the molar gas constant, so it's joules per Kelvin per mole. What we want is just joules per Kelvin per molecule. Okay, Well, Avogadro's number tells us how many molecules are in a mole. Okay, And so... Um, you know, this is joules per mole Kelvin. We would need to divide by N Avogadro to kill off uh, the moles and get it in terms of joules per Kelvin per molecule. Okay, so if I want to compute KB, KB is going to be equal to uh, R divided by uh, N Avo, right? And so you get this small number, 1.3806 times 10 to the negative 23. Okay. Getting temperature in SI units is a little more uh, straightforward. We're given temperature in degree C. What we need is temperature in Kelvin. Uh, so that's going to be equal to the temperature in degree C plus 273.15. Okay, so now I have the temperature in Kelvin. Uh, then last piece I need is mass. Okay, um, and so this one's uh, actually a little confusing. Right? So first things first is 
or a given molecular weight in AMUs. Okay, so an atomic mass unit, a Dalton. Um, when I think about molecular weights from general chemistry, right, this would be say 18, 18 grams per mole. Okay, so the first thing then is uh, I can calculate the mass of say a water molecule in uh, grams. How would I do that? Well, if it's 18 grams per mole, okay, and I know that there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole, um, I could again divide by Avogadro's number to get the mass in grams uh, per molecule. Right? So mass uh, molecule in say grams would be uh, my molecular weight divided by an Avogadro. Okay? So we get this very tiny number again. Okay, SI unit for mass is in grams, it's kilograms. So if I want to get that in kilograms, I could take the mass in grams and then uh, divide by a thousand because there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. Cool. So then hopefully I'm all set now to calculate speed in units of um, meters per second and that'll be equal to the square root of three times Kb times T underscore K, temperature in Kelvin, divided by the mass of my molecule in kilograms. Okay, and so at speed I get 615.2194. All right, that's in agreement with this 615.22. Hey, great, excellent. Uh, we got it right. <laughs> um, now in the last part it says, okay, that's meters per second. Can you uh, convert that to miles per hour? Well, uh, sure we can. Okay. Um, first things first. Let's uh, not do both unit conversions at the same time. Let's let's tackle one at a time. So if I wanted speed in uh, mile um, per second, okay, okay. So this is six fifteen point two one nine four meters per second, and we're told that one mile is one thousand six hundred nine point three four meters. So we would take our speed in meters per second, okay. And then if I were to multiply by one mile divided by 1609.34 meters, meters would cancel, and I'd, I'll be left with uh, meters per second. Okay, so that's equivalent to dividing by in this case 1609.34. Okay, so now that's speed in miles per second, but I want speed in uh, miles per hour. Okay, so I would take my speed in miles per second. Okay. And now I want to convert that. Okay, so it's uh, miles on top divided by seconds. So I know that 60 seconds are in one minute, then uh, 60 minutes are in one hour. Okay, so it'd be times 60 times 60. Okay, so speed in miles per hour is uh, 1.3762 uh, times 10 to the 3. Okay, uh, we weren't given a value, all right? If I scroll and I look at the solutions, there's speed of miles, uh, meters per second, uh, there's miles per hour, right? So uh, we get the same answer that we got in the solution manual, uh, that's great, uh, and I am very thankful that this molecule weighs uh, essentially nothing, <laughs> right? So we were 2.989 times 10 to the negative 3 grams, uh, so even though it's uh, traveling that fast, uh, it doesn't hurt very much uh, when a mo water molecule hits me, uh, say when I'm uh, swimming around in a, a swimming pool. Okay, excellent. Uh, but that's the example problem. Um, we're ready to move on.